to do today was go ahead and get started on the Pine series. Uh, Pines is probably one of the most requested and one of the most difficult ones to teach. Actually, I really don't understand everything. Well, you, one of the things you have to do when you teach, you have to be able to understand everything and verbalize it. Well, I think I know what I'm doing because I got this far, but to explain why is sometimes very difficult. So what I thought I'd do as a solution and have all these pines that need work, I'll just keep making videos and hopefully when you watch so many of them that you'll figure out, ha, ah, that's what he's doing. Okay, a lot of times what I'm doing on one is contradictory on another. And one of the things that I'll be talking about is the stage of development. And this is something that I came up with, and I go from zero to nine. Nine being finish, zero meaning just raw material. So as an example, this is probably about a seven. And then the chance of you seeing a nine is very slim. I have a lot of seven, eights, and nines, but no, seven and eights, but not so many nines. Okay, and I'll explain that more as I go along. So well, let's get started and we'll just start doing. A healthy pine is very stiff and uh, it will poke you. Uh, it's real healthy ones will actually make you bleed. That's why I have to have the protective gloves and I'll just take off these really obvious ones. Well, at least obvious to me. Like I said, pine is one of the hardest things to teach. One well, first things we should do is to decide where our front is. And having looked at it, it was either this side, but I think this side might be easier. So I'm going to mark it. So we call it tentative front because as we start to get into shaping, well, then here is definitely uh, a true branch. This, I'm not sure whether it's a keeper or it's just a sacrifice. But what I'm going to do is there's some branches that is very thick, but there's a uh, nice, nice thinner one here. And this being in the wrong plane, I'll cut this off. And then same thing here. This one here is going more up and then there's plenty of other branches. So that's what I did there. And over here, I think same reasoning. Um, this is a really hard angle, but what I'm looking for is in here, this one line has been cut off and I'm not sure how it should go. So, okay, let's work on this plane in here. Uh, there's multiple, there's this one and this one. Uh, I think we could get it down to one now. So if this is your front, this keep, but it's, you notice it's going up. This other one here behind it is lower. So let me study this and one will come off. So I decided to take that off. And then you see this one going up and then this one more horizontal. If you take this off, See, it's going and that's how I've been styling most of my trees and that's how I avoid wiring now at times I will use the string but that's another story so we'll get to that now looking at this back side so this is the keeper branch this we got something here 
and we do have a back branch but it doesn't need to be so long so and let's shorten this one up too okay so now we're up to this plane so let's look at the fundamentals we start at the ground line we have a good roof flare and then as we go up we have movement and we have taper so now all we need is a apex okay so we're doing quite well going up there and I'm thinking that in terms of taper if I take this side off and go this way it'll probably look better but the other option I have is to take this off go up this line and one of the reasons is right here we have so many branches at one point it bulged out it'll probably disappear but it might be worthwhile to go ahead and cut this off okay now in terms of stage of development you'll knock okay, it back so okay now that will get rid of most of the bulge so now what I'm going to do is to go ahead and carve this out and then kind of get rid of that bulge that's there so I carved it out this one here I cut the tip there's some growth here I want to be able to cut it here but I was afraid to cut down to here because this is a little weak so by cutting off this vigorous part it should force the energy back in here so you know all these things have to be carefully planned out or else we'll have to make another drastic cut but anyway what happened was this was not cared for at the right time and one of the things that I think I've been stressing is the pine has to be done at the right time or else you end up with sometime uh, problems that you cannot fix anyway so I'm gonna call this done I'm gonna feed it and then next year I'm gonna get that apex so that top part will okay this is the other one for this chapter and you know there's a lot of flaws in this thing um, this sacrifice branch should be over here but it went that way and some of these got kind of big and I got kind of messed up in here so what do you do when you have a situation like that well you have to think outside the box this will never fit that uh, traditional uh, informal upright that we normally associate with black pines so I'll go ahead and clean some of this up and maybe we can get some idea how to work with this okay um, trimmed it out let's get back I think this is the front right here and you know these that cover the trunk the rule says to remove it so I'm trying to figure out how not to remove it and I'm thinking if I pull this down right you could see still see the trunk and I think you know rules were always made for beginners and if you want to do something different and more artistic you got to get away from those darn rules so anyway that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to pull that down so that it kind of is out of the way and you can still see the trunk so let me get you see this stub right here goes this way most people would hurry up and cut it but because this is under tension I, I pull this down right uh, if I cut it too close it might snap off so I'm just gonna leave it probably till spring and then cut it about the time that I could take this string off is when I'm gonna cut it so a lot of times don't get in a hurry you gotta think in terms of what's happening to your plant 
and I'm just afraid that if I cut it over here, this will snap off and it will ruin my whole idea. So, um, as I wrap this up, so this was the first two that I got going, uh, and I'll be doing a whole lot more. And like I said, it's too difficult to explain everything, and I'm hoping that by uh, repeated uh, showing that you'll start to get the whole big picture. So anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll be doing a whole lot more because I got a whole lot more work to do around here. Anyway, so um, yeah, this was the two black pines uh, and we're at the tail end of October. I uh, typically most of these uh, heavy pruning in the fall here and I think I explained that before that it gets very hot in summer so they have to be uh, kept nice and bushy to prevent uh, damages from the sun. So anyway, I'll wrap this up and see you again real soon.